Hello, welcome to Wild Body Now. I'm Evan, your trainer, and I'm glad you're here to get a great tip to help you avoid increasing the lower belly pooch. So a huge factor in that has to do with your hamstrings. Your hamstrings are a group of muscles that connects your hip to your leg. And so, you have these muscles connecting here. When they get tight, they are, stay kind of a little bit more contracted, right? And when they contract, it forces you to kind of crunch here. And when you crunch there, it forces that pooch to stick out more, which is what we don't want. Whereas when we can keep them nice and, and, and flexible and lengthened, you're able to have proper posture, you stand up taller, and you and can avoid that pooch poking out even more. So traditional crunches, most of the sit-ups and crunches that we do involve using those hip flexors and keeping them contracted and, and having a flexed forward position. So you're probably wondering, if I can't do sit-ups and crunches, what should I be doing to have strong abs and avoid an extra lower belly pooch sticking out? Well, you just need to counterbalance it with some hip flexor stretching exercises. So, are, do I avoid sit-ups and crunches altogether? No, I do them every now and then, but it's all about balance. So I'm going to show you three of my favorite abdominal and core strengthening exercises that combine some hip flexor stretches so that you can be strong here and have proper alignment so that you look nice and toned and trim and flat and you can avoid that pooch. Are you ready? So, the first one is a Pilates exercise and we're gonna be in a sideline position. So go ahead and lay down, rest your head right there on your forearm. Now, you want your shoulders stacked, you want your hips stacked. Beautiful, your ankles are stacked. And now I want you to squeeze your abs and your obliques so much so that there's space between your waistline and the floor. This is relaxed, we want that. Squeeze everything. You can already feel your abdominals are working to keep you balanced. Use that front hand to help you stay nice and firm and balanced. Lift that top leg, flex the foot, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna swing it forward and pull it back point and pull it back. Exhale it forward. Beautiful. So, you can feel your abs working to help you stay stabilized and right there, there's your hip flexor stretching there. So you're working those core muscles, those postural muscles, and you have that element of a hip flexor stretch so that you're going to have strong abs and nice flexible hip flexors so that you can have proper posture to avoid pooching out that lower abdominal region. Beautiful, and you can go forward, forward, back, back. And what you're doing is your abs are so tight that you are avoiding rocking and rolling your hips. You're trying to keep your shoulders and your hips stacked the whole time. Beautiful, so roll over. This is Monkey, my dog Monkey. I love him so much. The second exercise is going to be a plank exercise. So roll over onto your forearms. Planking is awesome for your entire core region, especially your lower abs. So I want you pulling your belly button up and in, squeezing your legs together, push those shoulders down and back, and then just hold it. Now, extra booty work and hip flexor stretching. I want you to lift one leg, you feel it stretching your hip flexors and just hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. And again, other side. You are avoiding rocking and rolling. Keep your hips square to the floor. Squeeze that tush as you lift that leg and you're stretching the hip flexor. Beautiful. One more each side. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7. I know you feel those abdominals working. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other side. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so third and final exercise. I love this one. It's great for your entire core region and you have that element of stretching and strengthening your back and your abs and getting those hip flexors nice and stretched too. So 
we're going to go from a Superman, then we're going to roll into a hollowed out position. So the Superman, here's where you start to stretch those hip flexors, lift those legs, lift those arms. Now, just using your abdominal strength, try to avoid using your leg or your arm to help you get over. Roll over to the side, nice and balanced. Come to your back and you're using those abs right there. Arms are extended, legs are extended. Beautiful, and then roll back. Go to the side, and beautiful. Now if you have more room, you can roll the other way. I'll run into my couch, but we'll do it again. So nice and controlled. Pause on the side, balance. Come out to that hollowed out position. Beautiful. And I'm gonna come forward to you, so I get to go the other way. There we go. There we go, and back again, nice and controlled, here we go, to the side, and here's your Superman, stretch those hip flexors, use those back muscles, one more time, to the side, to that hollowed out position, awesome. So there you have it. Those are three awesome abdominal strengthening exercises that will help you avoid having an exaggerated lower body pooch. Thank you so much for joining me here at Wow Body Now. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, make sure that you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my weekly videos. And guess what? If you have any questions or anything fitness or health related that you need help with or you want some tips about, leave me a comment in the comment box below. I read them and I will be happy to accommodate. With that, I want you to have a fabulous day and always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat.